No, we are the coolest pop, pop icon that we have in the world today. Ah, uh, come on. And you'll be performing in Mumbai at the upcoming Lola Palooza Music Festival, which is promoted and produced by Book My Show. You, of course, had a sold-out show here in Mumbai in 2019. What can your fans expect who are waiting to groove to your songs here in Mumbai this time? Oh, it's gonna groove so hard. It's gonna be so emotional. It's gonna be so but up uplifting, happy, fun. It's gonna be a safe space. The total, you know what? That's what I'll say. Them ab above all, it's gonna be a safe space. So I'm really excited for that. Yeah. Now you've been touring across the world. Yeah. What makes Lola Palooza India special compared to a normal concert? Mm. Well, I've only played Lola Palooza in Chicago, which was. If it's going to be anything like that, that was one of the greatest shows of all time. You know, that was so fun. And um, I know this is the second ever Lollapalooza in India. So I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be people will probably be even more excited than the first year and just building on that. So I'm um, yeah, I'm 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 really excited, getting more excited by the by the honestly, by the day. Yeah. You know, which new song that you'll be singing for your fans at Lollapalooza India in Mumbai? I mean, I'll definitely play Love You Like That. I'll definitely play Steal the Show. Um, what else is new? Um, but I want to put some, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I kind of want to put some unreleased music in there, but we'll see. But I'll be playing really like a mixture of like all of my, all of my eras of my music. So. Do you have a pre-gig ritual? Meditation is a big one for me. Um, yeah, meditating. Uh, I try to not drink as much Red Bull, but Red Bull um and um yeah sometimes a little bit of boxing that's a newer thing get some of that get some of the you know the little excitement out and um yeah but meditating is the biggest one for me and yeah. the after show ritual honestly i don't really have one i feel like i i should get an after show ritual i like to light a nice candle like and just relax you know because it's usually like i'm so like so hyper and so in shock and just whatever that like i want to just relax a bit so that kind of vibe eat some food definitely eat yeah so then during your concerts is there a song or a music piece that you use to warm up your voice mm. um that's a good question i yeah i have some vocal warm-ups that i do that i do that i have a vocal coach um but um I sometimes like to go like almost kind of raw. It's more fun that way. Don't tell my vocal coach though. Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. You know, uh, your song Steal the Show that featured in Disney Pixar's Elemental, which actually was nominated at the recently concluded Golden Globes. Yeah. What was, yeah. what was the whole process, creative process like for you to write a song for an animation film? Yeah, that was so different for me because I um I was just in the middle of living my life, doing my thing. And I got a call asking if I wanted to make a song for, you know, a Disney Pixar film. And I was like, that's crazy. And I um I went into the office and met the team and and saw like early versions of the film and um and like learned about the backstory. And then they're like, okay, like this is the part we want a song for. And I, uh, I was just shocked and just, yeah, the whole thing was crazy. And um, the process was really like, was very anxious in moments because I just didn't know like, okay, like I've never done this before, but then it, I feel like it went so well. And um, it was so nice working with Thomas Newman on the uh on the song and he did a great job on the whole film with the sound and everything and all the the composition um i probably the craziest part was like when i actually went to the premiere and saw the film for the first time like the finished film because i'd seen you know i'd seen like as they're working on it but um there's nothing like that like just like going and seeing something you've created in such a major film for all ages like that was just so cool that was so cool. In your song, mostly uh, are a reflection of yours. But what yeah. was it like to write a song that is for someone else's story? Mm. 
you know, I feel like even if it's someone else's story, it's still my story and that like, it's like a, a version of how I want to live or a version of what my dreams are like. Um, so I always just, I feel like it's just another opportunity for me to like figure out another part of myself in a way, um, which is a cool opportunity. That's really cool. Yeah. Would you be like to give us a few lines of that song from any elemental? Started out on a one way train. Always knew I was gonna go next. Didn't know until I saw your face. I was missing out on every moment. You'll be one and baby, I'll be two. Would you mind it if I said I'm into you? So if it's real, then darling, let me know. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da I wouldn't mind. If you steal the show, da 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 I think just seeing the level to which they they work is just so so just crystal clear vision like so so hard working so dedicated um yet so expressive and so artistic at the same time um yeah really inspiring honestly um yeah it, it's just yeah crazy just between all the dancing the style the the obviously the singing the writing everything just really crazy yeah today ai is the buzzword everywhere you talk mm. about artificial intelligence yeah. now you of course have a huge fan base not just in america but in other countries also uh, yeah. also especially in india and in korea yeah and you are one of the major artists from the west who actually have used an ai tool to translate mm. a song for his korean fans yeah the song was of course called uh, love you like that yeah how was the response to this Korean version? Um, it was um, mostly really good. A lot of people texted me. Um, yeah, just like people that I've, you know, like friends that I made in Korea, you know, when I visited. And um, yeah, actually kind of a lot of different people out of the blue texted me about it. Um, I think um, if I can be totally honest, like, some i think um some of the intention maybe there was an opportunity to make the intention clear you know um in what that was for i think you know um ai is a very can be a very touchy thing for some people or you know for a lot of people and i totally get that and um i think i felt you know the same way in moments and honestly like with the opportunity to do this song, I was very, very mindful and very careful about what I did because it's important to me that things are done ethically and like done with a real intention and all of that. Yet I think also technology is never, it always moves forward. It never goes backwards, you know, as far as history has gone. And I think like learning how to embrace technology in ways that um, maybe seem scary at first I think is a risk worth taking. And um, I feel thankful for the opportunity. I feel thankful for the opportunity of working with Kevin Wu, who actually translated um, the lyrics himself. And, um, and, um, and I feel thankful, you know, to everybody on the team, um, you know, in terms of actually building the AI model, that was, that was really cool. I think there's a lot to be, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of opportunity for things to be, advanced using AI. Um, and I look forward to always, you know, doing my best to be on the, on the, I don't know, yeah, to be on the right side of doing things um, that maybe are kind of risky, but you know, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it was reported that your song Sad Forever was a reflection of a low phase in your life. Mm -hmm. Can you please talk to us about your battle with depression? Yeah. Um, I'm like, oh, no, it's okay. Um, 
I mean, honestly, bigger than even just depression, I've, I've really struggled a lot with OCD and just obsessive, obsessive negativity and anxiety in my brain. Um, I'm a lot better right now. I've been working a lot, really hard with, with a specific therapist who really focuses on OCD. Um, I've been on and off medication. I'm on medication right now and it's working really well for me. Meditating has been a huge thing for me always feeling free to speak about my struggles, even if they don't make sense to me, like being able to have a place, at least one place I can go to open up to a friend, a family member, a therapist, or the internet, or somewhere. Um, it's Because bigger, more so than expecting somebody else to like fix me, I just sometimes I have to say things and get them off my chest to then figure out how I really feel. And I think that's a big opportunity that people should know that is always there, you know, and hopefully there in bigger ways, like, you know, with people that they feel close to emotionally. And, um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, I've been just trying to feel more and think less, you know, um, and really, I think we live in a world, see, I'm like, I think we live in a world, we live in a world that there's a lot of, you know, confusing stuff going on at all times. There's a lot of, contradictions and um to be to expect that we can just be living in it and not be stressed out or not be anxious or not be depressed is just unrealistic i think you know like the the world is really complicated and we are just human and uh we're not perfect and um so yeah i feel anyways i i, I feel thankful to be have the opportunity to be open about it and um i always want to be evolving so yeah you know, I saw a video of yours in which you were having an interaction with another singer, Aksh Bagla, and I saw you grooving to some of the Bollywood songs in a mashup yeah. with your song, yeah. Love Somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you familiar with the Bollywood music? A little bit. I, I definitely, I mean, yes, I, I, I definitely, I want to be like, yeah, like, no, like, you know, I, I don't, I don't, um, I yeah I am but yeah not like uh, crazy familiar and I'd love to I'd love to learn more because um, it seems like there's just, yeah a lot to learn a lot to absorb and it just seems fun yeah in the same video you actually promise your fans in Mumbai that uh, next time then when you visit Mumbai you'll be performing a new song so mm -hmm. is there a song that you think uh, with which you like to end your concert with usually it's like i like me better or no 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 usually i do I'm, yeah no i like me better yeah 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 so yeah. on that note i want to wish you best of luck hoping to yeah. see you in, in india more frequently thank yeah absolutely you for your time and best of luck thank you so much for your time thank you and in the end may we request you to give us a few lines of your song i am so in love mm, okay I'm so in love, I'm so in love, I don't ever want to stop this ride that we're on. Don't ever want to say goodbye, cause then all of those nights, they would just be all for nothing. Yeah, I'm so in love, I'm so in love, I don't ever want to stop this ride that we're on. I don't ever want to say goodbye, cause then all of those nights, they would just be all for nothing. Yeah. Thank you. Looking Thank forward you. to you in Mumbai. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs>